chums, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, don't know why I thought that was weird, welcome, my name's Melissa, Instagram, Twitter, go follow them, if you want, today, as you can see, I'm gonna do an easy Aussie, because I just filmed this makeup, favourites video, I've not done one in what feels like forever, I don't know when the last one was, and I felt like I needed to talk about some things, I've got some ones that I have to talk about, because if you've never watched me before, I need you to know about these products, and then I have my kind of standard ones that are new, and then I have some new ones, like, that I've only had for a week, but have blown me out the water, so I have to talk about them. So anyway, let's, uh, let's just dive into it. I think it's the best thing to do. I'm really scared that I've got food stuck in my teeth because I just had my lunch. These three I am going to mention with a lot of haste because I've talked about them a lot. I use them all the time. They're great, but like I said, I have to mention them if it's a favourites video because it's stuff that I've been using for such a long time and I gravitate towards and have to use basically every time I do my makeup. The first one will be no surprise. This is the only palette I need in my life. Um, if all of my other palettes went to heaven, this is the one I would want to stay with me forever. It's the Beauty Bay Me, Myself and Mitchell palette. It's perfection. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? Because I've done about 4,000 tutorials on it. It's got this lovely warm side and then it's got this cooler side. Still think the packaging's really ugly. Probably never gonna change my mind. Best palette I've ever had. Said it. This next one is another very obvious one. So obvious, but I just, I'll be very brief. Revolution Pro Skin Finish, specifically the shade Opalescent if you have a pale skin tone like me, although today I've got a bit more deeper. I'm a, I am paler. Um, this is Opalescent Skin Finish. I'm obviously wearing it today. This is just like a dupe of Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Take a big fat fluffy brush, waggle it in there and put it all over your face. I made my niece buy this the other day and she looked great when she put it on and I hope she wears it every day. If she's wearing makeup, not because she needs to. Ugh. I cannot recommend this product enough. You all know this, well most of you will know this. I know a bunch of you still haven't tried it, it's £3 currently in Superdrug. Go and get it while it's £3, it's £5 normally. I feel like for £3 take the gamble. And then this last one that I have to mention because basically all I use right now, it's my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Again, Cara, thank you for putting me onto this, took me a while. Best concealer I have and I would say I like it more than my Jouer because you get so much in here. The Jouer is like £17 now on Beauty Bay. I'm telling you the price keeps going up every time I log in. This is £25, but you get 25 mils, 15 mils. That's a lot in concealer. In my Jouer you get, oh, how much? Probably nothing like that. 4.14 mils, £17. 15 mils, more than three times as big. £25. Taking the price out of the, the equation, this is a really nice full coverage, very, very hydrating concealer. I love the Jouer because it is so hydrating under my eyes and on the rest of my face. This is very hydrating. I've used it as foundation on many occasions and really liked how my skin looked. I use a few shades actually. I think this is my palest one. This is Swan. I've got a few others. I think they could do with having an even paler one. Apart from that, Great, would highly recommend. Moving into ones that I use past few months, like almost every day or at least every time I do my makeup. <coughs> Boring the dog. For foundation, I've really gravitated towards this so much so that um, I had to buy it for someone the other day just so that they could have it and try it and tell me how much they loved it. It's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. It says, lasts up to 24 hours. I don't know if that's true. Mattifying second skin effect. I'm wearing it today over another product, a primer that I will talk about in my honourable mentions. I think this foundation is one of the most beautiful foundations. I also feel like it's really underrated. I think this is £6 on just my look. I will link it down below. I don't know what to say about this apart from it is the most beautiful foundation in the world in this price because I love my ABH. My ABH could easily be featured in this video, but I feel like this one is just, considering the price, better than the ABH because it gives you almost an exact same effect. I would say it's very close to the finish of the ABH and the longevity and the beautifulness, but for like six or seven pounds. It's cheaper than Maybelline, it's cheaper than L'Oreal, it's cheaper than ELF. 
I think. I don't know, I've never bought an e.l.f. foundation. And it is probably my favourite one in my entire collection. If all of my foundations went to heaven, but I had this left, I would still be happy. Honestly, I would. If I had all the money in the world, I would buy each and every single one of you this foundation so that you could try it for yourselves and be like, why Melissa? You're right about everything. I know. Moving out, I'm just gonna kind of divide it up somewhat. This is something I have to talk about because this is my third, yeah, this is my third bottle of this. It's the SVR Physio Pure mm, Cleansing Micellar Water Pure and Mild. You get 400 mils of product in this. It's a little bit more pricey. It's more pricey than your, what's it, the one that we all use? like the Garnier Micellar Water, but if you're like me and you use a lot of bold colours on your face, a lot of rainbows in your eyes, especially pinks and purples and things like that that stain, this is the only micellar water I've found that actually gets rid of staining. It's not a miracle, but it is almost a miracle. This is pretty much the only micellar water I use. I bought one recently by B, the like Superdrug brand. It's crap. I bought the um, Soap and Glory one. Crap. This is excellent. Just on a wee cotton bud, I hold it over my eye just for a few seconds because I'm really impatient. <laughs> Gone. I would highly recommend this. Yes, it's more pricey, but sometimes in life, you do have to pay a bit more for a better quality. Ooh, these two are super, super easy for me. This one's a bit weird. I'm wearing it today. It's my Barry M blusher palette. I got this Christmas time. I think, I think this is in my Glossy Box advent calendar. This is, I don't know if this has a shade name, I think it might just be that this is the only shade variety and you'll probably notice it's very, very, very peach toned. I use all of the shades except this one, I find this one just too dark on my skin, it's like proper intense coral. I mean that doesn't even look that intense. Because I went for this kind of like grungy, greeny, yellowish, mustardy, smoky eye today. I went in just with this shade here. I think it is the most gorgeous peach blush and the formula is excellent and it's a blush that actually I still notice at the end of the day. I'll probably not take my makeup off, my makeup off for like, well it's four o'clock now, five or six hours and this will still be on. It's so cheap, I think it's like five pounds, five or six pounds. And usually I don't like blush palettes because I find that they just go to waste in my collection. I only ever like one shade, but considering I like three out of the four and it is so cheap, if you like me, like peach blush colours and they really suit your skin tone, I'd really recommend this because cheap and cheerful, does the job, lasts all day, beautiful peach tones, <laughs> highly recommend. And then this one is probably, I don't know when I bought this, but when I finally bought it and tried it, I was blown away. I've got it on today. Look, is that not a high-end highlight? It's not, it's very cheap. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap Highlight Palette. I hope they never discontinue this, ever. If I ever hear that they are, I'll probably buy five just so until I'm like 90. I still have this palette in my collection. I'm wearing actually this shade here today because I did go a bit more deeper with my foundation and then I've used this very pale one like through the center of my face. The quality of this, let me just swatch it. I think highlight palettes are something that a lot of us kind of don't buy anymore just because there are a lot of wasted shades when a palette tries to cater for all skin tones. But out of eight pans in here, I use all four of these golden highlights and I use this sometimes as like a bronzer or blush topper and this is a blush topper. The only two I don't use are these two. I don't know, I just, I don't really like um, purple toned highlights and then this one's just a bit too dark for me. But apart from that, using six out of the eight for eight pounds, wow, is so good and I don't know why. It literally took me until the end of last year to buy that palette when I love Makeup Revolution and I really like Soph. It just took me forever and I'm gutted that I didn't buy it before. But I also have a high-end recommendation and I'm actually kind of scared to talk about it because this woman is nothing if she isn't divisive and controversial. But this highlight baffles me every time I put it on and I mean that with joy. This was sent to me 
um, I was featured in a drama video because of this. The Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. I think this is the palest one. I'm going to have to swatch it for you. I actually did a full video on this if you want to see it. I'll try and link it but I'll probably forget. Um, oh, it is a loose highlight. Look at that. Let me smudge it out a bit. you see that shine? Do you see it? I've actually, a lot of you'll know that I am deeply madly and in a affair with Benefit Cookie Highlighter. However, often recently especially, sir, I've been going very pale with my foundation as in like half a shade lighter than my skin tone. Just because when I put all my powders and bronzers and stuff on, I tend to darken up anyway and I don't like my foundation being too dark. Cookie does not suit me at my palest. This suits me at my palest. I can also wear this when I've got like a little bit of a bronze tan going on, not that I tan, but like with my foundation. The formula on this is just excellent. It's probably one of the best highlighters I've ever used in terms of like how blinding it is. Better than Ofra, 100%. I don't even really like Ofra highlights that much. I just think, although Jaclyn Hill my own opinion, has done a lot of things wrong. She did this loose highlighter right and I'm still dying to try her loose face like all over glowy setting powder. I cannot, I cannot spend £37 on it but if I'm ever rich or like when I get paid I probably will buy it but this, mm, trust me when I say, mind blowing. Expensive, little pop but a loose highlighter is gonna last you forever, even though it says 12 months. Who's gonna throw it out after 12 months? You get four grams of product in it, you're never gonna run out. Oh, this one's super easy. I talk about this all the time and I think I use it in like every video now. This is my en <laughs> entering Essence Contouring Powder Duo. I bought this a few months ago and it has quickly become my favorite drugstore pick. My high-end favorite is still Too Faced Coco Contour. I think that palette is excellent. It can do no wrong. But this is a contour palette that I can really get behind because A, it's like three pounds. Vincent! It's like three pounds. There's only two shades in it. That's why I love it so much. There's nothing wasted. This colour is what I will do my jaw with and my nose because I'm not good at contouring either of those. And then this darker one is what I do like my cheeks and my forehead with and really get... I'm wearing it today. I should have said. I'm wearing it today. It's an excellent palette. There's only two shades, no wastage, very cheap. They are soft, they are buttery, they are easy to blend, they are pigmented. You can use them really gently or you can whack them on a lot. I whack them on. I really can't film when Vincent wants to nap. I just keep looking at this highlighter. Like, what is the deal with that? Next up, I'll talk about a couple of my favourite, like, lip products. I've kind of only gone for two colours this past, um, couple of months, January, February time. Um, a nude or a bright pink, because I feel like when I don't put that much effort into my face, but still wear makeup, but have very tired looking eyes, I need a bold lip, and it's always been in the past few months. My Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 30 Romantic. In fact, I've got a lot of these in these drawers and I really, really like the formula because it's a bit weird and I didn't really initially like it when I first tried it because I found it took forever to dry down and I was like, is this actually gonna dry and be transfer proof? Wow, is this not the most long lasting liquid lipstick I've ever used in my life? I will have worn this all day eating breakfast, lunch and dinner, no, lunch and dinner. I will go about my life. I will then shower and use a face scrub, like I always do in the shower, take all my makeup off. I will come out and my lipstick will still look perfect. This is bomb proof, it's bulletproof. This will last you in the apocalypse. I will say one tube of it does not last very long. I always find that mine run out quite quickly and for 9 99 that kind of annoys me because they are super expensive to me. But if you need something, like if you've got an all day wedding or an all day event and you put want a liquid lipstick that will not budge no matter what you do, even if you eat like oily food, get one of these. And like I said, they've got heaps of beautiful, beautiful shades. 
The other one is a nude and I've been wearing it in a lot of videos recently and just in my day to day life and I don't, I'm not sure why because usually I would think that this kind of nude is too dark for me but it's just the undertone that I love and it's what I'm wearing right now, I should have said, Dose of Colours Sand. I really like the formula Dose of Colours, I do find that it sits in my fine lines in my lips but what am I supposed to do unless I get lip fillers, they're always going to be there and I'm not going to get lip fillers so... If that would really annoy you, then maybe don't get these, but I don't find them drying, like, but then I can also, I feel like I can put up with cake face and dry feeling products really easily, because I don't mind, but the formula is comfortable, I'm not, I'm not saying good things about it, the formula is comfortable, it's long lasting, but it's not in any way, in any way, as long lasting as this. In fact, I just reapplied it before I started speaking about it, because I ate my lunch and I felt like it came off a little bit. But it's just, for me, it's more the tone of this. I've also got, um, where will you be, my baby? This one's in the shade Talk is Chic, and I think it is excellent as well. It's a really beautiful colour. I tend to wear it more in winter, because it's a very kind of deep, deep, deep raspberry. I really like the formula. I think they're very expensive. Um, I think that someone pointed out to me that Beauty Bay put the prices up as well. I'm sure these used to be £16. I think they're now £18 on the website. Do I think it's worth it? Yes for this colour because it's just perfection. I mean as with everything it's up to you, do you want to spend £18 on a liquid lipstick? This is £10, I still think that's expensive. Um, I think they're both great formulas, great colours. For Sainsbury there's one I've been reaching for a lot recently and it is this, the Alginist Splash Hydrating Setting Mist. This is kind of fancy, like to me this is very expensive. I actually got sent this quite a while ago and I didn't start using it until kind of late last year um because it just like the packaging the packaging just doesn't draw me in it doesn't make me feel excited like this kind of in my collection gets lost between things that look like this do you know what I mean like this Too Faced looks way more exciting and it smells nice and you know and then there's just this one beside all my bright colorful ones and it doesn't look as fun but I don't know if I can show you this has, mm, this has such a fine mist on it, it feels like, what can I just, when I was in Rome and it was super hot, sometimes you go to these shops and they'd spray you with this like mist of ice cold water because everywhere was so hot and it was incredible, it was like just walking into heaven when you're too hot and getting misted. That's what this is like, apart from that it smells so luxurious but it's not overly scented in any way. It just smells clean and fresh but rich. Like, I'm rich. I'm spraying this on my face. It never ever ever disrupts your makeup. I never go in with my beauty blender afterwards and like pat over any like random splodge that's there. I don't have to do it with this and there's just something about it that really draws me in and I can assure you 1000% when I finish this I will repurchase it because it's... I feel like setting spray or hydrating mist are just that kind of product that finish off your makeup and if you're like me and you put a lot of makeup on, you quite often need to go in with a lot of setting spray. I mean, even just putting on my neck is wonderful. This to me is definitely 100% in league with my Glam Glow setting spray. You know I love that one. It is a favourite. It still is. I just can't mention it in every video. Um, this is as nice as that. As nice which is very high praise for anything because the Glam Glow finishes my life off in the most perfect way. Um, this one is weird but I feel like I need to mention it because it is something I use every day when I do my makeup and I feel like for many many years the only eyelash glue I would ever use is Jewel eyelash glue. What glue do you use? I use Jewel so you go and buy Jewel and Jewel eyelash glue is good. I still have some in my collection just in case, but I bought, no, no, yes. I bought a pair of velour lashes on Beauty Bay early last year and it came with a free glue. Once I'd used that glue once, I went and bought the full size, which is a really pricey to me for eyelash glue. I think it's like £11, which is extortionate. I find dual glue at £5 extortionate. However, this eyelash glue, if you are someone that I would say don't get it if you're just starting out putting eyelashes on, but if you're very used to putting eyelashes on, if you get bored waiting for dual eyelash glue to get tacky so you can put your lashes on, 
because I will hold my lash, put it on, bish bash bosh, straight on my eye and I can immediately stick it down. I don't have to wait any drying time and I hate the drying time of lashes. I don't know why, it just really bugs me. I love it so much. I have a backup and I have another backup because this is the best eyelash glue on the market but only if you are like decent at putting lashes on and I just mean like I wouldn't get this if you're just starting because it does dry so fast. Right these last four products I could leave out but I feel like I have to talk about them. I've only had them for a week. I've only been using them probably all of them each five times now. These are products that we all come across in our lives. All of us at some point try something for the first time and go wow I'm blown away. Why did I not use this before? everyone you know what I mean they blow you away and you instantly know that's a favorite it's just a favorite so the first one I used this I've only used it in one video so far it was in a full face first impressions it is my new CYO bronzing powder in the shade fair I've used it today I look great <laughs> I'm joking I'm not I used it yesterday the day before the day before the day before the day before. I've used it since I used it in that video which was about a week ago this is maybe more than a week ago. This to me is very comparable to my Benefit Hula Light, which is my favorite high-end bronzer. Benefit Hula Light suits me so well because it's so fair and Benefit really did so good bringing out different variations of Hula and they needed one for deeper skin tones. And you know what? They needed one for paler skin tones too because Hula on me is way too dark. Anyway, back to CYO. This cost me like three or four pounds they are discontinuing this the reason i'm telling you about it is because you need to go and get it before they discontinue it i'm gonna need to go to boots which by the way i've got one like two seconds away i can go today and i'm gonna buy two or three of these so that i don't run out for a very long time because it, it's wonderful and actually i was told in my video where i did the full face first impressions that cyo is owned by Boots or Boots own it and they own Soap and Glory and it's all the kind of same formulas. I love the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. I think it's excellent. So I wonder if this is just the same thing in different packaging and looks different. If it is then it's not a shock that I'm adding it to a favourite because my solar bronzer was in a favourite probably a year or two ago. The next one is what I'm wearing today under this excellent foundation which makes it look even more excellent and it's the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. But if you've seen like past favourites of mine or past videos, the normal putty primer that they have, I love it. Mine is almost used up, I think it's excellent and then of course e.l.f. just come, I mean look how much I've dug into that already. It does last a, lo a long time. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Look, it just adds this lovely glow. Just this lovely, lovely glow. Elena put me onto this. She talked about it first. And ever since, I knew I needed it. And I just feel that when I've been wearing this, my skin just looks like 10 times better. And I tried the Becca Backlight, backlight Priming Filter on three occasions now. And I don't like it compared to this, like this is so much better and I think this is £8 so it is a little pricey in my opinion but worth it I would say so especially because I do feel like it helps smooth out my pores hugely and now it's got a glow to it this is something that I'll probably wear like put my moisturiser on in the morning put this on top and then go out and about on my day when I don't want to wear makeup because it gives me the smoothness and the luminosity it's an <sighs> honestly it's great and you should go and check out Superdrug if they've still got 3 for 2 on because I got these 3 products in the 3 for 2 and I'm so glad I did so I got one free. The next one is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I was talking about this in the Patreon WhatsApp group. Again, Elena put me onto this and the next one. Yeah, I was chatting on the WhatsApp group to the patrons and I was like, guys, this is literally like the best guys this is literally like the best product I've bought in a long time I can't remember what my exact words were but I was like it's excellent and I know a few people went out and bought it because I said it and then I know other people have replied to me and were like yeah it's excellent I really love it too it's a loose setting powder with a glow and you know there's probably nothing I like more than a little bit of glow on my face so 
primer foundation I used this powder I kind of baked my under eyes just used a fluffy brush on the rest of my face I also did use my skin finish obviously but everything in combination like my skin I feel like I don't know I just feel like my skin looks really healthy really glowy from within I don't look like overly powdered I think I just look like oh that girl has nice skin she drinks a lot of water really it's just these products although I actually do drink quite a lot of water but honestly e.l.f. have been really blowing it out of the water for me recently I want to do a full face of e.l.f. let me know if you want to see that I don't know if I've got enough to do it and the foundation that e.l.f. sent me was like shade warm biscuit or something it was so dark I could never use it but then anyway this last product I have to talk about as well just very briefly and then I'll go don't worry this is the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer satin finish where oh look right there elf 16 hour camel concealer i've got three or four of these i never reach for them because they are drying claggy i don't know how to describe them but i don't like them and i have got to say i am a concealer snob i prefer high-end concealers my drawer here is probably mm, 85% high-end, 15% drugstore because I just prefer high-end. I think they're better. This, though, this is my fourth time using it today and I have to say I think this is one of the only actual full coverage concealers from the drugstore. Like even this one, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite, this has better coverage and it is a pound cheaper. This is six pounds, this is five pounds. I use, by the way, Fair Warm. I actually think I could do with an ever so slightly paler colour. Like, it's fine, but I would like a slightly paler option. I'm not sure if there is one. Um, I'm sure there is, and I just didn't look hard enough in the store. But full coverage, and it's hydrating, and I know it's that's obvious to say, but I would say it's even more hydrating feeling than my beloved Dewey and my beloved Too Faced, both of which are very expensive. It blends out a dream, it is full coverage. I have not slept properly in about four months now. I have got terribly deep tear troughs and like darkness underneath my eyes. And I feel like this concealer covered it really well. It makes your skin look great, it's really nice as well. I want to get a really deep one for cream contouring because it blends out like a dream, even over a matte, matte foundation. For a product to sneak in this quick and become a favorite and a Especially a drugstore concealer, it must be special in my eyes, and this is very special. Elf Camel Concealer Hydrating. And yeah, that's it, that's all I've got to talk about. I feel like I've talked about quite a lot of products. I've filmed for about 40 minutes, so I'm gonna have to edit this down. As always, I am missing something, I'm forgetting something. There's other things I should give honourable mentions to just because they are so good, but I can't, apart from the Asda Sparkling Apple and Mango Water. If you like fizzy water. You should get this 37 pence. I drink two of these a day. No added sugar. Oh, I don't know where I got to because the delivery, a delivery just came. But yeah, if, if you were interested in what I've been using a lot recently and what I'd really recommend is all of these. How many was that? One, two, three, 16 products. That's quite a lot. Yeah, I'd really recommend all 16. And if you buy them all, you collect a prize. But yeah, that is my current favourites, I'd say the past like three months favourites. I've not been wearing like makeup every day, but every day I have worn makeup, I've worn at least one of these products, if not two or three or four or five, especially the Mitchell palette. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know though what your favourites are, if it's anything like you've discovered recently that you think I really need to try because it is literally my favourite thing in the world buying and trying new makeup because makeup just brings me a lot of joy. I like what it does to my self-esteem. I like what it does for how I feel that day. I also love wiping it off and being able to like rub my eyes but makeup is just one of those things I find so much solace in, so much joy in and especially so many of you like we've really connected over our love of like a specific eyeshadow palette. Do you know what I mean? Makeup's great. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also leave me a comment down below and subscribe. If, I'm sorry I keep looking over there. It's because this camera I think I need a new lens because it keeps on focusing. And yeah, subscribe. Did I say that? Subscribe. I'm all in a tiz for some reason. A massive thank you, of course, to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support, both on Patreon and on my channel. It really does mean the world to me. Amanda 
In fact, the delivery that just came was a beautiful bunch of flowers from you and they are so gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to be a patron and join our WhatsApp group, our Discord, our Facebook group and see me do weekly lives, the link is in the description box. But if you can't or don't want to be a patron, please don't worry about it. Watching my videos is a huge support and also if you click the links that I like always leave down in the description box, that generates me a few pennies as well, especially if you buy something. So do that if you want. Um, if you want, you don't have to at all. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to piss off. Vincent is due his walk. Um, and that's it, yeah. I will catch you on the flip side. Bye. You want to say hello to people? And bye to people?